Welcome back, everypony, to a Brony Plays Minecraft. That's right, this is episode two of Mistcraft, and we're still here in the crappy little house that uh, we built last time. There was a spider wandering around as well, but I don't hear him, so maybe he wandered off. It's... Aha! No spider. Good. Good. I have no idea where that spider went. Maybe it was an underground spider. Back here? Nope. Okay. Great. Well, we left off, we had a descriptive book and a linking book to take care of, um, a bunch of random crap as well. Let's go plant these sugar canes and uh, get something to eat. Before we go venturing off into new ages, we should also make sure we're actually ready for them, which means uh, getting a few more tools together, uh, some more torches would be good, right? Yeah, I know, it, it's, it's not going to be as exciting. Just watching somebody run around and ooh, I need to plant trees. There you go, planting trees, cutting other trees down, etc. But gives us a chance to get some chickens. We will need to kill the chickens. Much chicken killing. Why? Because we need their feathers. Oh, silly chickens! Silly chickens. Fluttershy has chickens. For what reason, we're not entirely sure. Probably just eggs. But it makes you wonder, doesn't it? it makes you wonder. Well, there's quills and sofas, so maybe they get some of the... Ah, it's doubtful. You wouldn't use chicken feathers for quills. Let's see. Um, you know, they also have cows in Ponyville. What's up with that? Why, why would they have cows? Uh, especially when we know the cows can talk and all that. Why keep cows for, for milk, possibly? It's an option. But, uh, it's a little weird. But you know what's even weirder? Pigs. They keep pigs. Why keep pigs? Pigs aren't going to give them any milk. Not like cows would. Pigs don't give milk. But if they're all vegetarian there, and so far we've seen they all are. In fact, I don't think I've seen a pony once eat a bit of meat, so what's up with that? Hmm. Go pig. Anyways, let's get some more wood here. Here we go, we can trot around. Oh, chicken time. Go get him, Lattice. Aha! Uh, so here we are, we're chopping down trees. See? Chop, 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 chop. Chopping down trees. We need a bit more wood, and we should go get some stone for stone tools. And then we're ready to head off into the new age. Unknown, oh, the dark, the mysterious, or the light. Uh, who knows? Ages can be all sorts of things. Some of them are stuck in an eternal state of day or night. Some of them are skylands. Some of them are unstable and might fall apart. All sorts of things. Who knows what we're going to find when we get there. So uh, we're just going to have to go see. But we want to make sure we're prepared first. In case there's any, you know, creepery type things. Zombies. As said last time, ponies and zombies don't go too well together. Oh, squids! Excellent! Okay, it's kind of ADD, but, see, part of this game is uh, involving... What, game? Part of this mod involves writing new ages, and um, to do that, you're gonna, we're going to need some ink for a writing desk. I think I got it. So, here, let's... Yeah, okay, two ink sacks, great. I saw another one earlier, but... Is now. That's fine. Let's also grab the rest of these reeds. Sugar cane, whatever. We could grab the clay. Get a nice uh, pony brick house. I don't know. But I need a lot of clay. So, we'll leave the clay. Take these saplings, we'll take them back to that place up there. 
one of these days we're going to have to mine, and uh, this is an excellent place to start. That's kind of dark. It'll still be an excellent place to start mining, since we're going to need things like, um, well, things, stuff. Pretty much, we only have three sugar cane. That's fine. One, two, there we go. In a day or two, those should be ready to go. Let's plunk these in here. Put half of them in there and turn the other half into wood. There we go. Oh. Let's go ahead and turn these into sticks and the sword. Sword time. There we go. I feel a little more safe now. Yeah, no. I know exactly what I'm doing. And what I'm doing is making stone tools. I actually have just enough cobble for that. Although I need a new axe soon, and I just ran out of cobble. That's fine, we can go grab some more, it's still day. We have a lot of day ahead of us. Maybe we should grab cobble in a new age. There's an idea. Do -do 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 -do. I really am so happy. Your stone fills me with glee. I found some coal, but not iron, and that's so special to me. Because it means I can go real... Actually, the point is, it means I can go back and take the wood out of my furnace. Oh yes, I can. If I've got coal, then I don't need to use all this. No, I don't. Uh, too late. I might as well let... Uh, screw it. I'd rather use the wood than... I'll just waste some of that, no big deal. But I can use the wood for um, fixing up that house. Still want a little bit more cobble, so. Cause all I want is a nice big house. Yes, I do. It fills me up with um, houseness. To I don't know what I'm doing there. I'll come. Uh, I'll come back to that one. We'll have uh, we'll we'll have litmus sing along another time. Kind of wish I'd known about this coal earlier. Kind of, sorta. Anyways, it's here now. Still no iron, but that's okay. We'll need iron, just not yet. Not yet. We can live without it for a little while. And really, to get iron, that means we have to go mining and. For mining, we're not mist crafting. So I feel it's it's okay. We we can we can skip out on that for now. Let's grab us there we go. Oh pony are, ponies are hungry. Nom 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 nom. Excellent. How much how much day do we have? Not that much. Okay. Well, I was going to build, uh, expand the house a little more, but we are running out of day, so let's just, uh, let's just let it go at that. Ooh, tell you what, we will make a couple things first. First, we're going to make a chest. We're also going to make something called a, uh, a book stand, or a linking book stand. What is it? Link book stand. They stack. Look at that. So first things first, the chest, the chest there, and all this other stuff. That, that, that. <laughs> keep the cobble, keep some of that just in case. We're a little bit of food, not too much, but that's okay. It'll be fine. Trust me, we'll work it out. And that brings us to these books and the stands. So what are the stands for? Well, first of all. Uh, you'll see the sprite here for the link book stand was was uh, the recipe was like this: three wood planks and a wood stick on either side. And it gives you one of these stands, and you can see the texture isn't quite worked out. By which I mean, here's what it looks like. There it is. It's just a stand that um, holds books. Now you can you can get the stand back. Ta-da! See, it comes back. But once the book is on it, it won't come back. Now, the book 
when you use it normally, is going to fall on the ground. So we'll demonstrate that first. To use the book, which we made in the last episode, you just right click, hold it back, it charges up, and when you let go, you start traveling. Oh man, we're traveling. Yes. Reset when you travel. And here we are. It's uh, very dark. There we go. Okay. Well, good news is that we're not on like a little island. We're actually on a place. Bad news is it's very, very dark out. And there's no moon in the sky at all. There's actually something up there, though. There's no moon, but there's something up there. Oh. An overhang, I think. Why is there. Is that just like a floating island or something? Or... Oh! Um. Well, this is weird. We might be on a. Maybe we are on a floating island. Maybe there's one right above us. It's definitely night time. Just put some torches down. Okay, well, well, now that we have some torches down, um, some things to note. First of all, there's this gravel mine around. Second of all, I can hear a skeleton. And third of all, we don't really have any shelter, but with all these torches, that should help to some extent. I want to climb up there, though, and the torch is up there. Okay, so while we climb up there... Actually, here, let's use the gravel. While we climb up there, you'll notice that I don't have the descriptive book in my inventory anymore. See? Not in there. The books fall to the ground once you use them, and that's the point of the stand. Especially because once the books fall to the ground, they become entities, um, and they can take damage, they can catch fire, etc. Now, it, it's not that bad, I mean... You know, you don't have to worry about things too much. If you need to, you just pick it right back up with a uh, right click, and it's back in your inventory. But you don't want to leave it on the ground too long. Something might happen to it, right? Okay, this should be enough gravel to get up there. So, let's go. Let's climb up. So that's what the stands are for. The stands are semi-permanent things that uh, allow you to place your books down and they're not going to get ruined and stuff. So for example, we could build a bridge over here. There we go. Yeah, we're on a little floating island. I, I don't even see the stars anymore. Briefly saw one of them. Is something above us still? Maybe we're in a cave. We might just be in a giant cave. That, maybe that's why it's so dark. Let's see if we can keep going higher. Um, the linking book that I have. Oh. Hi. Ceiling. This is really weird. Apparently, there is a uh, large ceiling in my way. I wonder if it's like the nether, or if I just want a giant underground place. That torch just saved my life. Well, this might explain why it's so dark out. But how come I could see stars for a little bit earlier? Or at least I... Oh, you know, I'll bet that was just a uh, chunk generation issue. Or something. Uh, we'll keep going for a bit, but I, I have my doubts. So let's see, what was... What was I talking about? Um, the books? Yeah. The thing about the link book stands is um, 
well, they're not, they're kind of permanent. You can't get a book off of them once they're on. Once you've got a book on the stands, they're stuck on the stands for the moment. And that's something that might be fixed in a later update, but right now, once your book is on your stand, it's there. Oh, this is weird. I'm mining in the sky. I'm a unicorn mining in the sky. Weird? I thought so. Huh. Maybe, maybe it is not. How high up are we? Apparently we're on Taiga Hills. Uh, but... We are at, and yeah, we're in the sky, 115, 116. Maybe we'll come back another time. I kind of want to get out of here. It's claustrophobic for this pony. We'll just set up a little base and, um, yeah, set up a little base and link back. We'll need to set up a linking book stand, of course, because, like I said, the books will take damage over time. And I don't want any damage to be taken over the time that I'm here or not here. Good thing I made that stone shovel. Always be prepared in Mistcraft. You don't know what you're going to find. You definitely don't want to be uh, locked out or anything. So let's, um... I haven't seen any... See, stars. Why can I see stars in the distance? Um, maybe this is a really, really big overhang? Hell, I don't know. Does it go up or? This definitely war merits more exploration. It's kind of like it's the Nether, but with an overworld theme. I'm still not a hundred percent sure as to why it's. Um... Ah! Go away, you. Go away. Ah, uh, that counts. Okay, so... Ah! Can't kill a pony that easily. But I guess it does mean we should have some shelter. Or we'll just link back. Okay? Going back. There we go. Alright, so... Oh, here we are. Ooh. Hey, look, there it is. See, age 50. We can pick it up with a right click, and it's safe back in our hands, or hooves, sorry safe back in our hooves and we can set it down somewhere but before we set it down there's uh, something that we want to do first we want to give it a name right age 50 is dull and boring uh, we want to give it a name now remember I said that once it's set down we can't really pick it up but there are things we can do I got this feather here and I got this ink sack we can use that to make a writing desk and a writing desk will allow us to see what the um, age is all about as well as change its name. Let's just set that up. This is one of the things that... <laughs> Placing it could be tricky though. Oh, okay, that's because it places like that! So, that's... Can I break it? I want it right there. Oh good, okay. We'll, we'll come up here and place it. There we go. It's getting light out. And here's our screen. Um, looks a little off, but that's okay. We have this side, and then there's a side way over here. If we put our descriptive age, we see... Hey, look at this. First of all, we can change its name. We have a little text box here. We can uh, change the name of this age. We could, I don't know, change it to Underworld, since it's world under something or maybe we could call it uh night world or the tartarus maybe maybe the pits of it's a tartarus and yeah, we'll just leave it at tartarus a good pony reference there and a good classical mythological reference as well so here we go we have single biome taiga hills standard lighting 
Yeah, sure, standard. Eternal night. Oh, well, that's it. It's always going to be dark there, but the lighting, I guess that means that the lighting is fine. Um, cave world. Oh, that's interesting. That would explain the cave top. Normal sunset colors. Well, what good does that do? It's eternal night. These things here are called symbols, and they explain how a world is made. It doesn't tell you whether a world is an age is stable or not, but it tells you it's there. So now we know what our age, the, the properties of our age are. We have all that. We can take our descriptive book of Tartarus, and we'll just set the set a link book stand right here. Put that down. And there we go. So that's uh, we have our first age. We even have a writing desk. And I think that's about all for today's episode. Next time we're going to look at expanding this house because it's way too crowded right here. And uh, we'll see about exploring Tartarus some more and see if we can explore a couple other ages now that we have our fancy old writing desk. So, as always, keep on trotting.